Ian, you have neck and neck in the Grade 1 Florida Derby. Now, this cold in his last out was fourth in the Fountain of Youth, but he had a pretty troubled trip. Tell us about that. Yeah, the, the whole thing is, you know, he, he's his own worst enemy. You know, he puts himself in these positions. If he just, you know, a horse got, can't make mistakes against these good horses, and, and if he stops making those mistakes, you know, that will help help the rider and everything there. Now, you did make an equipment change. You had blinkers on in the Fountain of Youth. Do you think that was an improvement? Yeah, it definitely helps him, you know, because he, he just lacked a little... He wouldn't go buy horses, you know. That was one thing. He wouldn't go buy them. He, he'd be very timid about going through holes and that. So he, I put the blinkers on, and he got a little aggressive in the first turn last time. So I think it really did help him. Now, you're making a rider change here. I know your regular rider will be away in Dubai, and you've got Edgar Prado up. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah, no problem. Well, look, look at Edgar's resume, you know. You can't, can't go wrong there, you know. It's a pretty good resume. Now, um, as well, this Colt, as you've said, he's kind of his own worst enemy. Have you made any changes to strategy for this race? No, just try and, when we draw, hopefully get a better get, um, post position, you know, other than the one hole. You know, I just he just doesn't need to be in the one hole, so hopefully we can draw a little better. Now, you're kind of taking on the big boys here, Ian. Are you ready for that with, with the neck and neck? I'm ready. i just got to check to see if neck and neck's ready, but I'm ready. <laughs> Good luck in the in the Grade One Florida Derby. Thank you.